As winter melts into spring, so do the hearts of Upper East Side girls over upcoming spring cotillions. But watch out, date the wrong guy, and your spring might just have sprung. You're still with Blair? Looks like housekeeping forgot to take out the trash. I have a board meeting in half an hour, so get lost. I was on my way out. FYI, French cuffs underneath the smoking jacket looks ridiculous. Blair, please. Goodbye, Chuck. Forever. Or at least for this episode. What's Blair's problem? She's addicted to carbs. Can't fit into couture. If you're in trouble, I'm here to help. And I have really big hair. Unless I come up with a billion dollars by Saturday, I'm gonna lose Bass Industries. Again? So first of all, I think we should get back together. I feel the same way. So what's up? Your text sounded urgent. I was thinking, we should break up. I'm worried about Chuck. He might lose Bass Industries. If only Blair had a scheme that would blow up in our faces. Not a chance. Blair caught him in bed with little Jenny Humphrey this morning. Unless Blair thinks crushing Jenny is the plan. Perfect. Let's get together. And we could use Saturday's spring cotillion to raise money for Chuck. Let's break up. We can play dress up and drink trendy cocktails like New York teenagers totally do all the time. Let's get together. Sorry, Nate. My date just arrived. Dan Humphrey. Nate Archibald. Dan, I got you coffee. When do we get back together? Come on, Chuck and Blair need us. Only if we can have sex. All right, but we have to do it in public so it gets posted online. Gossip Girl is gonna love this. Uh-oh, Dan and Serena caught with their pants down? Watch out, little Jenny Humphrey. You wouldn't want to catch spring fever or some other STD from this scheming duo. <gasps> Dorota, you stupid Polak. These dresses are dry clean only. <sighs> now they've shrunk. Yes, Miss Blair. Sorry, Miss Blair. Yeah. Don't be mean to Dorota. We know about Chuck and Jenny. So you brought Dan to cheer me up? I'd rather have sex with Dorota. Wouldn't be the first time she got screwed by you. Stop fighting. Blair, you need help finding a dress for Saturday, and Dan's sister needs a job. And why would I help little Jenny Humphrey? You won't. Have her make you 100 dresses. She'll go crazy, and you're bound to find one that fits. Uh... Fine. Now get out so I can abuse Dorota with more of my misplaced anger. Let me get this straight. You want me to help you help Blair hurt my sister? Jenny's gonna get a ton of press designing dresses we sell for the Chuck Fest Charity Foundation. Perfect. Let's further exploit the poor and uh, help the rich get richer. Don't you get it, Dan? We're from Brooklyn. We're never gonna fit in. Jenny, I need you to make 100 dresses for charity this Saturday. Great. I'll set them right after I bleach my extensions and apply more liquid eyeliner. Now to invite everyone on Gossip Girl. This is the last of them. So, where are the models? Right here. Doesn't she look great? I gotta go. Blair, what are you doing here? Scheming the demise of Ginny Humphrey. I love it when you talk dirty. <gasps> Blair, thank you for supporting me and this auction. Why is this gang talking to me? Serena organized this whole thing to help Jenny sell gowns for charity. Chuck Blair, I'm so happy you worked things out. You backstabbing bitch. Serena lied. Shocker. This was for all of you. Chuck, we saved your company. Jenny, you look like a whore. Blair, you have cankles. Dan, you have the sex appeal of a tree sloth. Nate, please just comb your hair. Vanessa, what the hell are you still doing here? I'm bringing a tribal ethnic vibe to this homogenized white bread cast. Well, get out. You're from Brooklyn and you're never gonna fit Foreigner. in. Foreigner. Yeah, taking on our back to brash. It's nice that hating others always brings us closer together. I'm sorry I misled you, but this auction was a huge success. It's okay. Blair's mom offered me my job back. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. S. Of course, see you later. Sure. I'll see you in hell for what you've done to me, Serena Vanderwoodson. Better watch out, Serena. Looks like little Jenny Humphrey is dressed to kill, and you are right in the line of fire. You know you love me. XOXO, Gossip Girl.